To write the formula for silver oxide, we go to the periodic table. Silver, that's Ag, and then oxide, that's the oxygen, that's O. Silver, that's a metal, and then oxygen, that's a nonmetal. So we have an ionic compound, and we have to take the ionic charge of each of the elements into consideration when we write the formula. Silver is a little bit odd. It always has a charge of 1 plus, even though it's a transition metal. So silver is kind of an exception. It's always 1 plus for the transition metals. Oxygen, 2 minus. So these charges, they'll need to add up to zero for this compound to be neutral. Silver oxide is a neutral compound. We can change the subscripts to make that happen, and we'll use the crisscross method. So we take the 2, we move it down here, and the 1, we move over here. We don't write the one by convention, and we can get rid of the charges as well. And this is the formula for silver oxide, Ag2O. We should check our work, however. So we know that the silver, that was the one plus, and the oxygen was two minus. So we have one oxygen, that's the two minus, and then we have two silvers, each one's one plus, so that's two plus. So two plus and two minus, they cancel out, give us a net charge of zero, that makes this the correct formula for silver oxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.